So the proteomics field is, um, exists, depending on the definition, since the mid-90s, and I've been involved in, in that field from the very beginning. With the electrospray and mass spectrometry, I've been involved with that for 25 years now. Progress has been just as fast as in any other field, for instance, as in computers. What took us literally weeks is now done in sub-seconds. The collaborations with Thermo Fisher are extremely important to us, and we wouldn't be here doing these things if it hadn't been for individuals like Alexander Makarov and others at Thermo Fisher Scientific. The attraction of proteomics is, in some ways, it's the logical next step in biochemistry in general. So in biochemistry, we've been looking at proteins one by one, and now we're looking at all of the proteins all of the time. That's the goal. The other direction is as a counterpart to genomics and other omics technologies. It's important not only to look at the DNA or RNA, because the proteins are as important or more important. The technology is becoming more and more powerful, but one thing that my group is very, very interested in, and working together with Thermo especially, is to encapsulate this, to make it into a system that everybody can then use, and that would dramatically extend the reach and impact of proteomics. And I think that's well within uh, the technological possibilities that we have at the moment.